Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the very first Thor News episode that includes a drinking game. That's right. Every time I say habitable, take a drink. What? No photographs? How lame. You know what I mean? The word star, man, is an illusion. Stay cool. I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Oh my god, NASA found aliens. Okay, wait. NASA found planets that have aliens. Okay, wait. NASA found possible planets that could have possible aliens. All right, let me just read the article. At JPL, NASA telescope reveals largest batch of Earth-sized habitable zone planets around a single star. Oh, wow, this is fascinating. And I can already tell that I'm going to be asking the question, can I have some photographs? It sounds wonderful, man. Can I have multiple photographs? Because if you found a large batch, I'd like to see a large batch of photographs of these awesome habitable zone, habitable zone planets around a single star, right? That seems reasonable, right? NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has revealed the first known system of seven Earth-sized planets around a single star. Read more, of course I will. And maybe this is NASA's way of telling us there's a whole lot of life in our solar system. That seven planets of the eight that remain have life. That wouldn't surprise me at all. And I would definitely guess that Mars has been ruling us since 1999. Right, February 22nd, 2017, NASA telescope reveals largest batch of Earth-sized habitable zone planets around a single star. I feel like I've repeated that way too many times. I've lost a lot of people that are like, hey dude, he repeats shit too many times. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm rusty at space stuff. Okay. Imagine standing on the surface of exoplanet TRAPPIST-1F. Well, that's pretty much how most of our space stuff is nowadays. Imagine the human space exploration. This artist's concept is one interpretation of what it could look like. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it could look like this. Or maybe it could look like this. Or maybe it could look like this. Maybe it could even look like that. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has revealed the first known system of seven Earth-sized planets around a single star. Now, how many times have I read it? I'm going to quit my own channel. I'll be like, I suck. I repeat information way too many times. Three of these planets are firmly located in the habitable zone, the area around a parent star where a rocky planet is most likely to have liquid water. Whatever. Man, the universe can create life in... A million wonderful ways that we haven't even begun to imagine. That's what I'm imagining. Hey, you told me to imagine. So I'm imagining that your imagination is lacking. Science peeps. The discovery sets a new record for greatest number of habitable zone planets found around a single... Are you serious? Are you guys padding this article? I guess a photograph is worth a thousand words. So you better have 7,000 words in this article. <sighs> All of these seven planets could have liquid water. Key to life as we know it under the right atmospheric conditions. But the chances are highest with the three in the habitable zone. This discovery could be a significant piece in the puzzle of finding habitable environments, places that are conductive to life. See, yeah, I've repeated the same thing over and over again. So then why don't I go ahead and throw in, can I see photographs? Said Thomas Zerbuchen, Associate Administrator of the agency's Science Mission Directorate in Washington. Answering the question, are we alone, is a top science priority. The answer is no, no we're not. Maybe aliens will uh, solve our problems for us. It's, it's wonderful. Whoa. A treasure trove. Oh, look. The sun has two eyes. Yay. What? No photographs? How lame. Hey, quality. No, you like that? <laughs> Just gonna eat the other ones. Maybe aliens have weird mouths. I was the saying. I was saying something really fucking fascinating. Top science priority. Answering the question, are we alone? How was the solar system formed? And can I please have more funding so I can help? Locate proof of dark matter other than what's in my cabin. And finding so many planets like these for the first time in the habitable zone is a remarkable step forward towards the goal. At about 40 light years, or 235 trillion miles, thanks for that, from Earth, the system of planets is relatively close to us. It's in the constellation Aquarius. Hey, isn't it where they found that one planet X -y thing? I think so. We got a solar system coming in, I guess. Because they are located outside of our solar system, these planets are scientifically known as exoplanets. This exoplanet system is called TRAPPIST-1, named for the Transiting Planet Planetesimals Small Telescope in chat. In May 2016, researchers using TRAPPIST announced they had discovered three planets in the system. Assisted by several ground-based telescopes, 
including the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope, Spitzer confirmed the existence of two of these planets and discovered five additional ones, increasing the number of known planets in the system to seven. The new results were published Wednesday in the Washington Journal Nature and announced at a news briefing at NASA headquarters in Washington. Oh wow, this story is so fascinating. Um, let's just say, hey dude, let's call this one part one. Could these planets have water? Yeah. Could these planets, um, be pixelated, pixelated pixie dust? Yeah. Alright, well, I guess the end of part one. Part two will be way better. I promise. The search for life just leaped forward with a new discovery. Aliens have been on Earth since the dawn of time. Could these planets have water? Or life? Can aliens pronounce Farfrik Nugan? We don't know yet. Here's what we know. Seven planets closely orbit a dim red star, which is one of the smallest and coolest M dwarfs known. Scientists debate if M dwarfs are good places to look for life, but life around a cool red star could look very different from life on Earth. On a Trappist 1 planet, the sun never rises or sets. Half of the planet is day, and half is always night. A year lasts one to twenty days, and the sun would loom up to six times larger in the sky, and daylight would be red orange. How do you know what the aliens would see with their eyes? Plants grew there. They might look red or black. Are you serious? It's ridiculous. Scientists will continue to search for signs of life with future telescopes or with their hands. Alright, yeah, I'm done. Maybe. To follow the story, make it up in your own mind. Peace out.